Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the past week's happenings in the world of monster taming. Now, this week is a little quieter, much like last, however, there are a few noteworthy pieces of information, including a Temtem teaser, the patch notes for the upcoming Nexomon Extinction custom mode update, a really interesting Sky Climbers teaser, and a monster taming game that we haven't yet covered on the channel that's coming out this month. Other than that, we have a few other updates to go over, so yeah, with that being said, sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Okay, so to start things off, the Nexomon Discord server has revealed what exactly the upcoming custom mode update will entail via a list of patch notes. These patch notes include, of course, the elusive custom mode, but also a way to get the cosmic form of the legendaries, unlike previously where they were locked. Other features include a way to make Omni Sun appear to be soulless for cosmetic purposes, a counter for each time you've KO'd a Nexomon, which can increase your cosmic odds, and more. I did do a video going over these patch notes, which will be linked in the description. The Temtem Twitter revealed a new image showcasing a silhouette of a brand new Temtem. This one looks like it could be a light bulb, and given the fact that the Sepanku update is next in line, I'm almost positive that it's either a digital or an electric type. Realistically, it can go either way because digital Temtem were created from crystal and electric types, so as a light bulb, I'm kind of thinking it's digital just because it's more of an inorganic looking Temtem. Monster Crown Early Access recently updated to version 1.55, which mostly contains various fixes, but notably has added some new monster variants to Tedon, Walrus, and Mirlet. We also got some other refinements like being able to manually slide the SFX and music volume separately, an NPC in the Humanism Kingdom that will tell you what to do next so you don't get lost, and more. Now, speaking of patches, Serialum Ultimate just updated to version 0.7, which includes various quality of life updates, such as removing battle text for speedrunners, a times 5 and times 6 zoom mode for players that feel the game is too zoomed out, several keyboard shortcuts, and more. The patch also includes a lot of fixes and changes, and as usual, you can check them out on the Serialum Ultimate Steam page. A new monster taming game recently caught my attention and is releasing this month on the 28th. The game in question is New Monsters, a game developed by Nyanko Studio, that seems to take inspiration from the Game Boy Color era. The game promises for a monster taming experience including underground casinos, dojo training, a quest to be the best trainer on the new monsters leaderboard, and more. Expect a monster tamer showcase for this game soon. Here you can see a short but very important clip that was showcased by the Myth and Island Twitter. The caption explains that we're going to receive a roadmap soon which will outline the various features planned for the game and when said features will arrive. This overworld exploration you're seeing now was actually teased during our podcast interview with the dev, so it's really awesome to see it make its way off to the uh, Twitter page. Alright, so as is the tradition, we're going to enter rapid fire mode for the smaller pieces of news this week, so let's get started. ReLegend received a brand new update in the form of patch version 16.3.9, which includes various bug fixes that were submitted by the community. Mr. Buddy showcased some of Buddymon's dialogue via this short clip. The Ploxmon's developers have announced Ploxmon's return for 2021, and I'm sure many others are looking forward to what Ploxmon's has to offer this year. We got a short Druggymon clip showcasing some of the architecture within the game. The Anatons devs supposedly had a sit down with the publisher and are promising an update in February. We got a couple of Eternal Exodus clips, as well as a promise for a new trailer in the near future. The Sky Climbers Twitter showcased this image, stating that it's a sneak peek for their storyline trailer, which is coming soon. The developers behind Familiars.io, a game we covered on the channel not too long ago, has confirmed that they're working on a storage system to house your extra monsters. The Ova Magica Twitter page showcased a short clip which denotes that various areas will be explorable depending on the season. This is actually quite nostalgic because I remember exploring a Creekside forest with my friends as a kid and literally we waited for the winter so we could cross a creek to see what was going on on the other side. Josh over at Stratton Studios showcased this screenshot for what I'm presuming is the upcoming Costume Kingdom spiritual successor. The graphics and creature design seem to have taken a huge step forward and I'm excited to see more. And last but not least, we got a clip showcasing the first boss for Xenoscape, that being the water boss. It's really neat to look at some of the abilities of the monster being used in this case too, with this sort of uh, hookshot-esque method of escape. So yeah guys, like I said, definitely a quieter week overall. However, I am looking forward to finding out more about Sky Climbers and of course checking out that Nexomon update when it drops. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this week's news in the comments, and as usual, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all things monster taming. You can follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. Check out our subscriber Discord, all links in the description. Until next time, peace.